Okay, um, shall we start? I guess uh, it's 4.30 uh, and we have most of uh, our um, audience here. Um, welcome everyone to our uh, second uh, construction community discussion panel. Uh, I'm Hany Mari. I'm going to be your host uh, for the event. Um, as you have participated in our previous uh, construction community discussion panels, we try to find uh, topics that are of interest to our uh, construction community, uh, whether they are in engineering, architectural, contracting, uh, we even have uh, uh, lawyers and uh, other uh, parts of the construction industry, educators that uh, are interested to, for the betterment of the construction industry from project management perspective, get together uh, in these quarterly meetings uh, to um, collaborate and discuss different topics and try to improve uh, the status of our community. We have a very tight um, uh, program today, uh, so I'm just going to go right into um, our agenda. Uh, I'm going to spend uh, 10 uh, to 15 minutes introducing the topic, then we will in, uh, enter the discussion panel and each of our uh, uh, panelists will demonstrate uh, 10 to 15 minutes of their views and um, uh, their perspective on the topic. And then we'll have a question and answer session for you at the end of the discussion panel. So during the meeting, if you find any interesting questions to ask or you wish to elaborate on some of the points that are discussed here, please make sure that you put those in the chat box and we'll go over them in the question and answer uh, session. And then following uh, our program, we have an hour of breakout rooms. If you know, you'd like to talk further with some of our panelists in uh, breakout rooms, the feature that Zoom has, and uh, we, you can spend more time on there, but we have limited it to an hour. So uh, if you'd like to uh, stay for that. So please have your uh, video feeds and microphones muted uh, during the presentation. So uh, there will be less uh, distraction during uh, uh, our discussion uh, panelists dis uh, discussing their topics. Uh, as you know, uh, PMI GLC uh, recently changed their, uh, its uh, PMI logo and uh, our intent uh, with programs such as this is to bring like-minded people like yourself uh, to collaborate together in uh, making sure that we put our best to become very professional project managers. And as you know, project management could be in any disciplines, in any perspective and in industry. And uh, the vision that we have is to make sure that we do the best in our uh, communities, make sure that we work in a teamwork uh, setting, uh, grow together, uh, improve our uh, outcomes by using innovations and having a better vision for a better future uh, with the change management that we do as project managers. So you will see these uh, different icons and symbols during this meeting. Um, you can learn more about uh, our brand issue and our uh, short link cqm.us slash PMI brand uh, as mentioned at the bottom and understand why we do this thing as construction managers, why we do this thing as uh, project managers within the PMI GLC Project Management Institute Great Lake Chapter uh, to get together and discuss these topics. So as we uh, had our uh, previous uh, construction uh, uh, manager, construction community, we came up with uh, the topic of quality management, meaning that our project managers uh, are uh, intending to do their best to bring the best quality in their projects. And we discussed the different um, uh, sources and uh, root causes of uh, poor quality. And uh, as, as you can see on this um, chart here, uh, the elements of uh, poor quality are very, very extensive. There could be many, many different reasons, but the main cause of most of these um, uh, 
miscoordinations and misplanning is communication. And today, uh, being in this coronavirus situation and trying to do everything virtual, we find that technology is helping us uh, in a great way of uh, working uh, in the satellite mode offline, um, not in the office, offsite, and trying to work together uh, in different virtual uh, uh, realms. And BIM, uh, as one of the uh, uh, most interesting things that has happened in recent years in engineering and architectural, gives us as project managers the ability to uh, plan and uh, coordinate, monitor projects and communicate for a better quality. So this would be the topic of our discussion. And a lot of people keep asking me, well, this is for, uh, if it's quality management, how is it for project management? If it's for project management, how is it uh, related to project engineering? And how does all these things relate to, to each other? Well, our mentality for quality when we talk about CQM and uh, construction uh, quality management is further than just the traditional inspection and quality control and quality assurance. We're looking at a total quality management where it's a culture change, it's a company wide, it has everybody involved in it, everybody is responsible for quality. We look at quality as a risk factor and we try to work as a team to improve the quality management of our jobs. And as a project manager, uh, we will try to do that in uh, our project management professionalism to make sure that we have the best TQM system uh, throughout the whole entire company as well as our project. So that's why our, the vision here is to make sure that by using total quality management mentality and uh, these tools like BIM and other uh, tools that we're going to be discussing in the future, uh, we improve our quality. So. Um, and our discussion panel will elaborate more on what we mean by that, what, what we mean by using BIM for these quality management issues. And the other thing that everybody asks me is how do these things all come together? Why uh, you talk about PMBOK, you talk about BIM, you talk about LEED, you talk about LEAN. How do these all come together? Well, PMI with the PMBOK uh, framework uh, tries to give you uh, a, a, an input output kind of mentality with processes. Now, what you use in order to um, come up with your outputs as tools and techniques, that's totally up to you. So that becomes your methodology. So as, in your methodology, you can use as many different systems and different possibilities that there are, and that's what makes your business unique. So. Uh, part of our quality control management in uh, Brinker, because I'm part of Brinker as well, uh, we try to use BIM uh, in a lean fashion, meaning that we use lean uh, construction mentality to reduce uh, the amount of waste that uh, could go into a, a managing a project. So using a, uh, we promote using a single BIM model and which is digital, searchable, accessible, and accurate and up to date in order to achieve the lean um, uh, uh, goals, which is to reduce inventory, increase motion, reduce waiting time and over processing and over production uh, by eliminating uh, defects and use of best use of our skills workers. So, um, in this, uh, hopefully, in this uh, discussion panel, we'll see. Uh, different perspectives of different um, people in the industry, how they use BIM and how we can collaborate together in order to come up with a great uh, uh, outcome. And as you can see in this uh, process flow chart that I have here, uh, the way that we look at uh, this discussion is that we have architects and engineers that use BIM, we have construction project managers that use BIM, we have the quality control and quality management personnel that use BIM, and then we have our BIM modelers that are generating this BIM models. And the different steps and the different dimensions that we have in each step, uh, whether it's conceptualization, the pre-construction, during construction or post-construction, we have different dimensions of BIM that are used. And um, 
Dr. Albayari is going to discuss the eighth dimension, which was also new to me. Um, um, I've heard up to seven Ds. Now he's, he's mentioning that there is the eighth dimension to them. So that would be very interesting to listen to once uh, he comes on. Um, finally, uh, I'd like to introduce our discussion panelist, uh, Dr. Uh, Ahmed Albayati is from Lawrence Tech, uh, as mentioned. And, um, Mr. Haytham Sarsam is from O'Brien Construction. Um, Laura Souter is uh, formerly a, a, a quality director with SASP. Uh, Dr. Emra Kazan from Wayne State University. Uh, Aaron Cassett uh, is um, representing the uh, supplier end. Um, uh, we have Mr. Uh, uh, Austin Holcomb, uh, he's going to represent the owner uh, perspective. And finally, um, uh, Art Tush would be presenting the consultant perspective for our discussion today. So without further ado, I'm going to introduce Mr. Haytham Sarsam to uh, present his portion of the discussion panel. Um, Haytham, can you uh, share your screen, please? Sure. 